Meanwhile, there are a pair of bills introduced at the State House aimed at using state resources to reduce crime in Indianapolis. Fox 59's Russ McQuay shows us how this cooperation would work. Last year, State House Republicans were mad at Indianapolis because of the 2020 riots and specifically because of the damage done to this building. This year, the GOP wants to help IMPD police the city. In the morning after the first night of rioting in the spring of 2020, the Indiana State House showed the damage. In the wake of the perception that IMPD and Mayor Hogsett lost control of downtown, one state senator proposed establishing a board to oversee IMPD, but that plan got voted down. Now GOP Senator Jack Sandlin from Indianapolis' South Side wants to establish an agreement that other agencies like the state police and IUPUI police can lend a hand to IMPD. IMPD downtown. I counted uh, about 15 or 16 different agencies uh, that are going to come together uh, to look at working interoperatively uh, on crime prevention and crime reduction in the downtown area and being innovative. Uh, really thinking outside of the box. State police already helped out last summer patrolling the South Meridian Street Bar District on weekends and IMPD appreciated the assistance. You know, and no one cares when you're in trouble what the patch is. If it says police, the people in this community, the people in our county expect someone to help them when they need it. Opponents worry the public will be confused about who's on patrol. Citizens or people who are guests might not expect to be stopped by somebody in a hospital cop uniform or cop car, and they might not understand that it's a proper use of authority. The Senate Corrections and Law Committee is also considering legislation to help pay some of IMPD's overtime bills, which ran to more than $13 million last year. It's an opportunity for us to, or the state, uh, who's, who's, who's uh, you know, reaching a handout and saying we want to help you in those high crime areas. Any amendments to those bills are due by Friday at noon. At the State House, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.